Hello and welcome to the course on Docker Basics. My name is Sijesh and this video I will show how to copy files from host machine to the running container and also how to copy back files from the running container to the host operating system. So there are multiple ways to uh, do the uh, file transfer or uh, sharing the files between the host machine and the container but this video I am focusing mainly on docker cp command. So this command can be used for copying files from host machine to the container and also from container to the host. So let me create a container first. Check uh, the image. So I have an nginx image. I am going to create a container using this nginx. So use docker run iPhone t for terminal d for detachable mod iPhone p for which port I need to use name so i can use nginx01 this is a container name and image name is nginx colon latest so this will create a container using this image iphone p i need i need not to do an exclusive port mapping but uh, it will do based on the availability of port and d for detachable mode so that it will run in background now if I just use docker container ls I can see my container is running and it's a mapped 372790 uh, this is the port on which my container is running so let me get the host machine IP address from here so that is 192.168 let me open a browser and uh, use the port is uh, where my container is running is 32790 just use and uh, you will get a message like welcome to nginx this is from the container running container has some file and that is the index.html file inside that so what I am going to do here is from the container I am just going to download that file so just use docker container ls to see the container name or container id so I can use uh, docker cp command okay just use the docker cp from where I need to copy so that is a container name colon uh, which directory so normally uh, that uh, this file will be under user share nginx html then index.html so this is the file uh, that is available inside the container so this is the source uh, option like uh, from which container and which location and the destination can be any directory or we can use up where you want to save this file which is copied from this container so dot means my current working directory go ahead and uh, hit enter and now you can see we have got a file called index html file so this is the file which we downloaded or copied from nginx container which is the running container and from this location I copied that and let's uh, open that okay and uh, see if you see the successfully installed thank you for choosing we can write something here like uh, okay uh, thank you for choosing thank you edited by I just changed the sum of the entries right go ahead and save this now next step I'm going to upload this file into the same running container so you can copy this file to any container but what I'm doing here is docker cp what is my source source is my actual file so I'm just using the file name and the destination is this, this container and uh, which location I want so I can use the container colon the directory location where I want to copy ok 
okay i can use uh, the same path so that it will override this value go ahead and hit enter now these files will be whatever the file available inside the container will be replaced with this file and this in this file we have attached some entries or edited and that is uploaded here now if i go back to this page and uh, refresh this page you can see thank you edited by hadoop engineering so basically we downloaded that file and then uploaded using docker cp command so you can use docker cp command to copy the files from the running container to your host or upload any files to the running container just use docker cp if you are not sure about the syntax use the docker cp and here you can see the source and destination like container source then the destination path or source path is like normal linux destination uh, directory and container so from uh, to the container also from the container you can use uh, this docker cp command i hope this is uh, very clear and uh, with that i am concluding this demo we'll see in the next video thank you for watching bye